Good morning, my name is Ray Fair. We do about 75% of our dry camping. Thus, we are rely, relying heavily on our batteries and solar panel. Recently, we had a problem with the controller to the batteries. We could not tell if it was charging properly or not. So to overcome that, we did change the controller, but today we're going to install a trimetric battery monitor. This is the model 2030 RV, made specifically for RVs. Disconnect the switch, power switch. Done. Next, we're going to remove the two group 27 batteries from the system. Battery number two coming out. Maybe. Maybe. Tight fit. Group 31s are heavy. Here we go. Okay. Okay, this is the shunt that comes with the system. It's a 500 watt unit. And it actually is measures the voltage going across and that the measurement is fed back to the meter. I'm gonna start putting some new wires on the system. We Good. Do, when we do it for you there, Ray? Done. Now we're attaching it to the shunt. It'll take the other side, of the, the other end of the wire, because I know I'm going to cut it later on. Strip it. This is the spool of wire they give you, and it's the wire that you see here in the diagram that gets wired to the actual shunt right here. Two blacks go to one side, the white goes there, and the red goes to the other side of the battery. So that's what Ray's working on now. This is probably something that should be done in the garage, but seeing how we're in the field, dry camping, in the jungles of Florida. Now on the other side, it's just the white wire. Yep. Okay, the other side is just the white wire. As you can see right here. We just did the two blacks, now we're going to do the white. Okay, we're going to mount the shunt to a semi-accessible area underneath the step. Later I'll put a plastic cover over it to protect anybody from touching it, like myself. Here we go. Okay, now to run the wires back to the battery. Okay, I'm going to come through the, the bottom of the floor, up through this opening behind the fan. goes from the shunt to this the cabinet and then through that hole to the battery. 
This is the load portion of the shunt. This will tie into the neutral for the camper. Yep. Here we go. Because it's under the sink and out of sight, we just add a little bit of tape to be on the safe side. What you doing, Ray? Okay, to facilitate the running of the wire, I do have to take out the radio. Make it a little bit easier. Yeah, right. Here we go. Look at all those wires. Okay, this is the Trimetric 2030 RV monitor. It comes with a white case, and what I've done to make it inconspicuous as possible is painted the case black. Oh. Okay, we're going to mount the box near the other associated equipment in the yep. camper. To facilitate this, I pre-drilled two holes on the back. I only need one, but be on the safe side, I put two. So now to drill that hole. I should mark it first, just like that. Done. Okay, now to feed the other wire through, it'll go up to the controller. The wire's all pulled. Time to mount it. Beautiful. That's like Okay. According to the diagram, G1 and G2 are the black terminals. Black wires. Okay. And the next wire, S1G. Yep, the single. Looks like white. And the last wire, the red is next to the B1 plus, I guess. All right, all wired up. Beautiful. And as you mentioned, the last one on the right is for the truck if I was so inclined to hook up the truck's batteries to this particular unit. Okay. Not today. <laughs> now to put all the covers back on and uh, radio back in, then we can go and hook up the battery end. Tight fit. Just like the day it came out of the factory. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now the final wiring out here. 
putting terminals on and getting things ready to hook up to the batteries. That's the fuse that came with the system. That goes to the positive side of the battery. Here we go, putting the batteries back in. Okay, battery number two. There we go. All right, putting the final wires on, final cable. Then we can test the system and just see what's happening here. Ta-da! Let's go try it out, Ray. Here's Ray going to uncover the solar panels. Nice. Okay, the system is installed and is up and running. The meter is reading the voltage of the batteries at 12.7. I can select the next one is the amperage. There is 0.3 amps going in from the solar panel. If there was a discharge from the batteries, we'd actually see a minus sign here. Now this number will change depending upon how the clouds are affecting how the clouds are affecting the solar panel. If I toggle again, the straight lines tell me it is full. As the battery goes down and we start discharging, I could actually see the percentage of the battery. Those are only the first three parameters. There's actually 22 different parameters, including alarms that can be set off for a high and low voltage. That I don't need right now. That concludes today's uh, installation. Thank God.